Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the distance formula. So let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A, derive the distance formula Letter B, find the distance between a pair of points on the coordinate plane And Letter C, appreciate how the distance formula facilitates finding solutions to real-life problems. So before we proceed with our main discussion, let's have this preliminary activity. Along Aguinaldo Highway are the houses of four grade 10 students, namely Jose, Emilio, Gabriela, and Antonio. Their teacher's house is some blocks away from Gabriela's house, as illustrated. Let's have the following questions. What is the distance between Emilio's house and Gabriela's house? So this is Emilio's house which is located at the coordinate 1, 1 while Gabriela's house is located at coordinates 4, 1. The distance between Emilio's house and Gabriela's house can be obtained by just counting the number line. So we have 1, 2, 3. Three. So the distance between Emilio's house from Gabriela's house is 3 units. How about the distance between their teacher's house and Gabriela's house? So the teacher's house coordinate is 4, 5, while Gabriela's house is 4, 1. So we will just count the vertical distance of the teacher's house from Gabriela's house. So 1 unit 2 units, 3 units, and then 4 units. So the distance between the teacher's house from Gabriela's house is 4 units. Next, use line segments to connect the points representing the house of Emilio, their teacher, and Gabriela. So let's try to connect these houses. And then after connecting it, what kind of triangle is formed? So obviously, we have formed a right triangle. A triangle which has an angle of 90 degrees or a right angle. And the next question, give the coordinates of points E, T, and G. So the coordinates of point E, we have here 1, 1. The coordinates of point T is 4, 5. And the coordinates of point G is for 1. Next question, using the coordinates, how do you determine the horizontal distance from E to G or G to E? So to determine the horizontal distance from E to G or G to E, we will just subtract the absolute value of the x values of the coordinate of the point. So if we will get the horizontal distance from G to E, we have the value of x is equal to 4, the value of x in point E is equal to 1, so 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Absolute value of 3 is equal to positive 3. And you can do it alternately. The horizontal distance from E to G, so we have the value of x in point E is equal to 1, minus the value of x in point G is equal to 4. So 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3, and absolute value of negative 3 is equal to positive 3. And then, next question, how about the vertical distance from point T to point G? or point G to point T. So we will use the same process. We will get the absolute value of the value of Y in point T, which is equal to 5. The value of the value of Y, which is equal to 1 in point G, 
So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Absolute value of 4 is equal to 4. Then you can do it alternately. So the distance from point G to point T. So absolute value of 1 from point G minus absolute value of 5. The value of Y in point T is equal to negative 4. Then absolute value of negative 4 will be positive 4. So let's now try to solve the distance of Emilio's house from his teacher's house. So to do this, since this is an example of a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between the teacher's house and Emilio's house. So we have the formula for Pythagorean theorem in which c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So all we need to do is to substitute the given value. So we will bring down c squared equals the value of the altitude is equal to 4 units raised to the second power plus the value of the base is equal to 3 units raised to the second power. So bring down c squared equals 4 times 4 is equal to 16 plus 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And then 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. And then after that, we will multiply it both sides by square root. So square root times c squared will be equal to c. And then square root times 25 will be equal to square root of 25. And then square root of 25 is equal to 5 units. So the distance between Emilio's house from his teacher's house is equal to 5 units. Let's now try to replace the coordinates of E by x sub 1, y sub 1, and T by x sub 2, y sub 2. And then the coordinates of G would be x sub 2, y sub 1. So the horizontal distance from E to G or G to E is equal to the absolute value of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 or absolute value of x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The vertical distance from T to G is equal to the absolute value of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 or absolute value of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And then to compute for the distance from E to T, we will use the Pythagorean theorem and substitute the corresponding value. So our formula will be the hypotenuse, which is equal to segment ET raised to the second power equals segment EG, the base, raised to the second power plus the altitude, which is segment TG raised to the second power. And then we will substitute the corresponding value. So bring down segment ET raised to the second power equals the value of segment EG is equal to x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Then raised to the second power plus the value of segment TG is equal to y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. And then multiplying this both sides by square root, square root times segment ET raised to the second power is equal to segment ET equals the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power times square root will be square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. So this will be the distance formula. The distance formula D is equal to square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power is an equation that can be used to find the distance between any pair of points on the coordinate plane. So let's now have an example. Find the distance between point E which has a coordinate of 1, 1, and point T, which has a coordinate of 4, 5. So we will let the value of x sub 1, y sub 1 is equal to 1, 1. 
and the value of x sub to y sub to is equal to 4 5 and then we will use the formula so the formula to get the distance will be equal to segment et is equal to square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power and then all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values so the value of x sub 1 will be equal to 1 the value of x sub 2 is equal to 4 so we have 1 minus 4 raised to the second power plus the quantity of the value of y sub 1 which is equal to 1 minus the value of y sub 2 is equal to 5 raised to the second power and then bring down segment et equals square root of 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3 raised to the second power plus 1 minus 5 is equal to negative 4 raised to the second power and then bring down segment et equals square root of negative 3 to the second power is 9 plus negative 4 to the second power is equal to 16 and then bring down segment et equals square root of 9 plus 16 will be equal to 25 and then square root of 25 is equal to 5 units so the distance between points e and t is equal to 5 units so let's have our second example find the distance between the points a which has coordinate of negative 1 negative 7 and b which has a coordinate of negative 3 and negative 6 so we will let x sub 1 y sub 1 is equal to negative 1 and negative 7 and x sub 2 y sub 2 is equal to negative 3 and then negative 6 and then after that we will use the formula in finding the distance so we have segment AB is equal to square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding values. Bring down segment AB equals square root of the quantity of x sub 1 which is equal to negative 1 minus the value of x sub 2 is equal to negative 3 raised to the second power plus the value of y sub 1 is equal to negative 7 minus the value of y sub 2 is equal to negative 6 and then we will simplify so bring down segment ab equals square root of bring down negative 1 negative times negative 3 will be equal to positive 3 raised to the second power plus the quantity of negative 7 then negative times negative 6 will be equal to positive 6 raised to the second power and then segment ab will be equal to negative 1 plus 3 is equal to 2 raised to the second power plus negative 7 plus 6 is equal to negative 1 raised to the second power and then bring down segment AB equals square root of 2 to the second power is equal to 4 negative 1 to the second power is equal to positive 1 and then square root of 4 plus 1 will be equal to square root of 5 so the value of segment AB is equal to 2.24 units so the distance between points A and B is equal to 2.24 units so let's have our last example the Philippines is known for more than 7,107 islands many tourists love traveling by boat from island to island or island hopping Find the shortest distance between the two given islands in the map below. So we have here negative 3, 1, the first island. And then we have 2, negative 1, which is the second island. So we will find the distance between these two islands. So to do that, we will use the distance formula. We will let x sub 1, y sub 1 is equal to negative 3, 1 and x sub 2 y sub 2 will be equal to positive 2 and then negative 1 
and then we will use the distance formula. D is equal to square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. And all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value, bring down D equals square root of the quantity of x sub 1 is equal to negative 3 minus the value of x sub 2 which is equal to 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 which is equal to positive 1 minus the value of y sub 2 is equal to negative 1 raised to the second power. And then we will simplify. D will be equal to square root of negative 3 plus negative 2 will be equal to negative 5 raised to the second power plus bring down 1 negative times negative 1 will be equal to positive 1 raised to the second power. And then we have D is equal to negative 5 raised to the second power will be equal to positive 25 plus 1 plus 1 will be equal to 2 raised to the second power. And then bring down D equals square root of 25 plus 4 will be equal to square root of 29. Then square root of 29 will be equal to 5.39 units. So the distance between these two islands is equal to 5.39 units.